The Build Show today, we are not on the job site, we're actually at the ranch, and we've got a special guest for you. Y'all know Tori Belechi from Mythbuster status, right? What's up, Matt? Tori, how are you, brother? Dude, thanks for having me on The Build Show. Absolutely, man, all the way from California. Now, Tori, I brought you in today because there's this myth that I've seen all the time in Hollywood movies that, you know, you guys are shooting bullets at houses right and left at, at these houses that I build in these movies, and yet the people on the other side of the wall never die. Yeah, you know what, that has been a big pet peeve of mine all the time where you see the bad guy shooting at the good guy and he hides behind a wall and he survives. I just, I don't know. I have a feeling that bullets are gonna fly right through these walls. You know, I think we should test that, Tori. We're at the ranch, we're in Texas, we can shoot guns here. <laughs> I made a couple wall sections. Let's give it a try. These are real guns so, and real walls. So what, we have two different types of walls. What, tell me yeah, about Yeah, so this. we got two wall sections. We've got a vinyl siding, vinyl siding on the outside, thermo ply for the sheathing, and then some insulation and some half inch sheetrock. I looked at that, it, it literally looks like cardboard. <laughs> It's like plastic and then cardboard and then drywall. There's no way that's gonna stop a bullet. Well, I don't know about that, but that's the way houses are being built all over America. Believe it or not, that's, thermoply that's is legal and houses are being built all over like that. Now the other wall section is more like what I would do and more like what we like in Texas. That's fiber cement siding right there, Tori. Behind that is solid OSB some fiberglass insulation and then some half inch sheetrock. What do you think, will that stop a bullet? I, that might have a chance. I mean, the fact that it's got the, the fiber concrete board in front, that might give us a chance, but maybe what we should do is ramp it up. We'll start with low caliber oh, uh, that's a good idea. bullets and work our way up to a higher caliber Yeah. and see if these even have a chance of stopping a bullet. We're not in California, we're in Texas, so we can shoot guns. Let's <laughs> go get some guns. We can shoot guns in California. <laughs> Let's get going. <laughs> Now, are these the normal tools that you use on the job site? No, this is not my Monday through Friday tools, <laughs> but this is your Hollywood tools, my Hollywood friend. All right, so we have a, a wide range. We got the 22 caliber. Yep, the small caliber. Yep, we got a nine millimeter. Classic Hollywood. We got the 223. Yep, for the AR. And then we got a 12 gauge with buckshot. Buckshot, I, I mean, like I, it. I feel like this is a good representation that's, that's like of most Hollywood movies. guns. Although I don't see a lot of bad guys running around with Pew, pew on the not, 22. Not so much, not so much. But we wanted to see if the 22 would at least get stopped by this wall cavity. I don't know. I, I think I have a feeling it's not going to stop. I think most of these are going to blow through. Maybe this will stop a 22. Now, where should we shoot in the wall, though, Tori? I, I think we should aim for two spots. We okay. should go for the cavity, yep. just because that's probably going to be the easiest place to hit. Makes sense. But then we should also aim for the studs, because okay. that's going to give us our best chance of stopping a bullet. So I marked this 2 by 4 stud on the side of the window. We're going to aim for that line, and then we're going to aim for the cavity. We'll start low and work our way up. I don't know what's going to stop, but we're about to find out. Give us a second to throw our safety gear on. Let's get going. How good a shot are you? Decent. All right. Tori, we're outside. The rain cleared. The guns are ready to go, and we're probably a little safer shooting here. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Lead right. off with the uh, All right. 22. This is, this is the 22. We're about to find out what kind of shot Tori and Matt are here. Okay, Tori. Going for the cavity. Oh, dead center. Oh, right in the stud. Nice job, bud. Nice job, stud. I feel like James Bond with this <laughs> suppressor. suppressor. I know, that's pretty awesome, isn't it? All right, next up, oh, nine let millimeter. Me, let me open this up. Okay, we are charged here. Are y'all ready? All right, we got no sights here, so. Oh, a little bit low. Oh, I don't think I hit the stud there. I saw a lot of dust coming out the back of the wall, so I'm <laughs> guessing this wall is not bulletproof. Uh, I don't All know, right. man. I didn't see anything on the 22. All right, the 223. All right, the AR223. This is what our troops are using today. Ooh, man, that is a good shot in the stud, brother. That's impressive. Nice job. Okay, we're All unloaded right, we're clear. there. Okay. All right, my favorite. This is gonna be fun, Tori. Are you ready? Yes. All right, we got some buckshot here. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Oh. Oh, we got a little jump there. I, I flinched. <laughs> you gotta I? squeeze. <laughs> One, two. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, 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 oh,
Nice. That's awesome. I think take another shot into the stud. You want to take another shot in the stud? I think you need to. All right, let's do it. That's exactly how I Red picture it. Like That's kind of what it looks like in the movies. That's exactly what it looks like in the movies. Yeah. That is nine little BBs. You want to give me a three, two, one countdown? Yeah. Don't hit three, the window. Two, one. Nice shot. I got a couple in the studs there. All right, you want to clear it? We are cleared. All right. Everything is go, open. Should we go take a look? See, yep. see what kind of damage we did? Let's go take a look. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh. Well, I'll be. Well, it shocked. Didn't, it didn't stop the cardboard one didn't do single it. bullet. <laughs> Even the 22 made it through. Wah, wah. What? Plastic cardboard and drywall <laughs> won't stop a bullet? Weird. How is that possible? Oh, it's America. It's defying the laws of physics. America, we got to build better houses. All right, now. The, the, the buckshot. Well, hold on, hold on. Was hold on. it? Was it? So, here's the stud. It looks like we we missed the studs. Yeah. One. So the nine, the 22 bullets pop right through. We missed the stud here. The nine millimeters. Look at pretty good exit wound right here. Look at the 223. Look at how clean it is here. But because it went through the uh, stud, you hit the stud it, it, on that it, one. It blew right through the nice stud. Job, so, stud. so that's they think stud. Dude, now look at those buckshots. <laughs> From shots. one stud to another. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the buckshot, yeah, man. That's, that's crazy. That's pretty ridiculous. Oh, it just all right. Blew so, it out. so a crappily built house will not will not do anything. Will not stop a bullet. So, should we move on to a uh, stronger I, build? I think we house? should move on to let's let's load up another wall that's a little better and see what happens. All right, all right. So we're moving on to the next wall now. Remind me how this wall is built. All right, Tori. So this wall is fiber cement siding, half inch OSB fiberglass and then half inch drywall. So this is more like a well-built wall assembly. Okay. So let's see how this one does. I personally think that the nine millimeter may go through, but I don't think the 22 is gonna go through. All what right. do you think? I don't know. We'll I, think, I think the 22 still might have a good shot. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's All give right. it a try. You guys ready? I got my safety goggles on. I'm We're glad good. to see that you're finally wearing your safety goggles. <laughs> Right in the center. Oh, right on the stud, Tori. Good <laughs> shooting, stud. Thanks, stud. <laughs> All right, nine millimeter. You cleared? Okay. All right, we're hot here. You ready, people? Oh, way off of us. Take, take another <laughs> shot and hit that stud, stud. I don't, I don't have another bullet, so. Okay. That's all right, we only put two in. All right. Every time I watch you shoot, it's like watching 007 <laughs> with these suppressors on. All right, this is the two, two, three. Oh my gosh, right on the stud, dude. Nice job. All right. Let's see if we get the high speed going on this buckshot, shall we? Three, two, one. <laughs> I can see all the way through. <laughs> Should I bother shooting on the... Uh... Yeah, hit the stud. Let's see if I can actually hit the stud. Oh, oh. I just, I just wow. saw a bunch of material fly out the back <laughs> of the wall. There was a cloud <laughs> of drywall dust over there, Tori. Let's have a look. All right, so just from here, I can see I can see all the way through the wall in the bug shot. Daylight. All right, let's see. All right, the 22 though. Oh! So the 22 did make. Wait, no. Yeah, the 22 made it through the wall cavity. So, so right? it made it through the wall cavity. That's the 22. It, it got stopped by the stud. Yep. The 223 just ripped through the stud again. Again. Yeah, and just, I mean. The 223 is not getting stopped by anything so far. And the buckshot is just ripping through it too. The buckshot just destroyed it. So. I mean, it, look at that pattern. So it looks like if you're like standing right like this next to a stud. And you're sh getting shot by a 22. Then you might live. Maybe, but I don't, no, I didn't hit this. I didn't hit the stud unfortunately on the nine millimeter. I'm a terrible shot. So what if, in a pinch, you wanted to make your house bulletproof, no. what could you do if you ran into a hardware store and just pulled things off the shelf? What would you use? You know, in the army, they stock up sandbags to keep their houses. So what if we jabbed a hole, you know, jab saw, 
and we ripped out the insulation and filled the cavity with sand. I love it. Two by four sand cavity. Maybe that would do it. I love it. What would you do? My first instinct would be I would grab a bunch of quick setting concrete, set the bags up, get them wet, and let them dry and see if that's bulletproof. Oh, I like it. All right, let's make a quick trip. We'll be back in a minute. Quick out of that Yes, just what I wanted. Yeah. I'm impressed with your enthusiasm. <laughs> Look at my insulation. Let me do some quick calculations. I don't know. Look, but... at, Look at that. <laughs> All it took was two bags. Woo! Poop it down, poop it down. Woo two bags, right. and that's what, four foot, dude. That's impressive. So maybe four bags per stud bay yeah. if you start at the top. Stack them. Rack them. I got some water for you if you want. Nah. This is post setting. It's alright. I'm curious. Alright, let's see if that sets. Alright, 648 market. How fast is fast setting? Here, get that concrete off your hand, dude. I love you had to come to Texas to put water in four bags of quick read. <laughs> this has been a dream of mine for that's, all can't, those episodes of Mythbusters with, with 100,000 plus budgets per episode. <laughs> and we spent $13 on quick setting concrete for you, Tori. Sometimes simple is better. The bill show. Spare no expense. All right, let's let them drive for 30 minutes. See what happens. I'm ready to shoot these again. Yeah. All right, so here's what we did. I cut a hole in my section pulled the insulation out. I was pretty proud of myself for oh, getting I've the never insulation. seen you so excited. <laughs> I got that thing like out in one piece. And then all it took was two 60 pound bags. So in my little section of the wall, got about 120 pounds of sand. I'm feeling good about that. How about you, Tori? So I stacked four bags of the quick setting concrete, filled it with water. We let it sit for about 20 minutes. It feels rock hard. I have a feeling these are gonna stop bullets. Let's find out, brother. All right, so we got the sand on the right, concrete in the left. We're yeah. gonna do the same arsenal all over again. All so right. let's start with the 22, brother. 22. All right, going hot. Going hot. Eyes are on. So I'll start sand first, I'll go low. Yep. Oh, I feel good about that. All right, this is 22 in the concrete wall. Oh, that sounded good. That sounded like it stopped. That sounded solid. All right. <laughs> That's not a real solid. All right, now we're going to the nine millimeter, a little more power than the 22. Let's see how we do here. Oh, a little bit left. I don't know. I don't All right. Know. We're going to find out. They are. Two, two, three. I don't know, man. This is going to be interesting. I can't tell if it's coming through or not. Can you? I'm not sure. All right. All right. This one's going to do some this, damage. This is the one. This All right. When you, wait. Can you make sure that you aim right on the concrete? Right on? Right on the sand? Yes. Where it says sand? Yep. Nice. Okay. That was good. A little I low. I see sand leaking out the side of the wall. <laughs> side of the wall. <laughs> Oh, all right. Let's go check and see smoke coming out. if we stop bullets. <laughs> this gun is like from the future. <laughs> you know what, Matt? If this works, you may have just come up with a new way of building houses. <laughs> no insulation, you, but bulletproof. You may change the way people What's the build. What's value? Doesn't matter. It's bulletproof. Oh, no way. Dude. <laughs> the, sand the sand in the wall. It. Stop. We got... We got one pooched out area. Oh, I think that was probably the two, two, three. That might've been the two, two, three, but, but it, it didn't come through. It. The paper Dude. face is there. Yes, Dude. that's awesome. And I don't see any exit. <laughs> I mean, this. I don't this, see any exit. This is like wounds. solid. Even the, even the buckshot got stopped. Yeah. Uh, yeah, baby. All right, there you go. I mean, however, in a, in a quick, like in a, in a pinch, in a desperate situation. I mean, if the zombies are coming, I'm ripping my insulation out and dumping sand in there. That is genius. That's pretty cool, man. I've been making a prototype of a brand new construction wall, knowing that what I'm building in a bad neighborhood and or I'm building a house near where Hollywood movies are shot. <laughs> and I'm worried about someone 
spraying my house. So you actually have a prototype? I have a prototype. A bulletproof wall that you're constructing? We are not done yet. We are not done yet. We need to load up the guns one more time and I have one more wall. So let's load up another wall, brand new construction, and we'll show you in a second. So is this, this is your prototype bulletproof wall? This is it, baby. You know I'm a custom home builder, so I had to think of a wall assembly that I think would stop a bullet. But, you know, this is stuff that's pretty much off the shelf. So what I did was I took- Wait, is, are you gonna surprise me with this? Should we just shoot it and see if it works and then you tell me, or <laughs> are you gonna ruin the surprise? All right, all right, let's shoot it first, then I'll tell you what okay. the Okay, that was all close. Right. All right, all so, right. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. This time we're gonna shoot five bullets. I'm so confident in my, in my bulletproof wall assembly. You that confident? I think it's gonna stop some bullets wow. here, but let's find out. All right. All right, Tori. Here we are. Five twenty-two rounds. Going hot. Going hot. Oh, 22 is... Oh, baby. Interesting. Oh, I think it stopped it. I know. I That's... think it stopped it. Okay, now we're going to the nine millimeter. This is our Glock. Nine millimeter. Wow. Oh yeah. Nice oh yeah. I feel text. good about that. Nice shooting text, and it's it, it's appropriate. We're in Texas. Because <laughs> we're actually in Texas. <laughs> All right. All right. You feel like a man with this gun. Oh don't my you? gosh. Are you kidding me? I feel like uh, you got to charge it. Call of Duty. All right. We're hot. Oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry to say I saw drywall smoke on the back of the wall. I, That's a bad I don't sign. Think, I don't think that made it. Uh, I, I'm guessing I, your your wall didn't stop it. I think my wall did not stop that. Wah, wah. But I didn't see any smoke in the first two, so let's see what Buckshot does here. Are we all uh, ready to go, people? I didn't see any smoke out the back. Wow. Let's try one more. Looks like you might have something with this bulletproof wall. I may have a winner here. All right, Matt, this is the moment of All truth. All right, Tori, let's see, baby. Are let's you going to patent what it this is. and mass produce these walls? <laughs> oh. oh. I saw the powder coming through on the <laughs> teeth right there. I saw the sheetrock just <laughs> but, blow out the back. But look, it stopped the 9mm, the 22, and the buckshot. The buckshot? made an impact, but I think you would have survived the buckshot. Cause look, all you did was kind of pooch the paper and that was it. I'm a and believer. Nothing on the nine and the 22. I think it did pretty well, dude. I'm, I'm a believer. So tell me, what is this made of? All right, so you got a sandwich on the back side of this wall. Everything's normal up until the back of the two by fours. Then we laid a sheet of three quarter plywood and then 18 gauge sheet metal and then another layer of three quarter plywood. And I thought with that plywood holding that sheet metal, it was gonna do it. Now that's pretty thin gauge metal. That's not plate steel. That's 18 gauge, which is slightly thicker than most of the metal roofs we put in our houses that are 24 gauge. So it's not very thick, although it's enough to stop almost anything except for a really high speed bullet. Well, I think you're onto something. So it turns out sand in the wall mm -hmm. actually does a really good job. Really good. And concrete bags, that looked like the winner. Other than that, these walls are, you're gonna die with an AR. Tori, Hollywood is wrong. I think on just about any wall assembly, you are not going to live through bullets being riddled into your house. You mean the movies are telling us lies? We got more from Tori from the ranch. We got several more good videos. And stay tuned for the next one because we got a big build show reveal we're going to tell you about next time. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on the build show. <laughs> I, almost, I almost got it. That's not it at all. Let's blow some stuff up.